Hello and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mark Hoffman. Today I'm going to be taking you around our 2011 Ford Territory TX sedan, sorry, wagon, almost said sedan. I have owned a couple of these myself. I'm a massive fan of the, ter of the Territories. They're a brilliant vehicle, great reliability and perfect functionality. Starting at the front, obviously with the SZ update, you do get the projector headlights, which moves them to the inside, the nice big open grille. One thing to note, this car does have a few kilometers on it, so condition is paramount for this video. Front bar, very minor mark on it every now and then, but really, you've got to be really picky to try and find any stone chips. It's a couple of little ones at the front here, and one on the very front of the bumper bar there. That's it, really clean car at the front. If you put a bonnet protector on this, you'd never even see the four or five that are just on the lip of the bonnet there. Coming around the side of the vehicle, we'll notice it's got a really good condition alloy wheel. There's a couple of little minor marks. They haven't dented the wheel, but they have scuffed off the silver, the silver coloring just a little bit there. Well, moving along up and onto the side, obviously with the, the territory, you get your indicator in the guard there as well. Got a wee little mark just on the edge of the mirror there. Someone underjudged their parking slightly, has been touched up. You probably wouldn't notice it if I didn't tell you it was there. Coming down the side of the vehicle, really struggling to find any marks on this car. There's a tiny little one there that's been touched up and another one there. They're probably about three mil long each. Really, really hard to spot. As I said, I like to be picky on these videos. Good condition Bridgestone tyres on the back as well. Unmarked alloy wheel on the back. All right, sorry for the little blip there. We had a car just drive past. It was very loud. Um, coming around to the back of the car now, as you'll see, the SC gives you the nice rear tail lights as well. We'll get into the tailgate and all its functionality in a little bit. Well, one thing I do want to touch on here, no tow bar fitted to this car. So you know it's never reversed someone's boat into a river or salt water. It's never towed two and a half ton of caravan behind it. Had a nice easy life. Reversing sensors, of course. And this is why we like this car, a little TDCI badge there. We'll get into that in a moment. Coming down the passenger side of the vehicle, really, really clean car. What we'll have a look at, rear wheel here, unmarked. Now, usually this is the side where you see a lot of marking due to that horrible thing we call a gutter. There's a, well, actually, if I'm picky, there is a couple of little tiny marks on it. You've got to get pretty close to see them. On the door here, no marks there. A tiny little mark here on the rear quarter. Coming down the side of the vehicle, that's actually just dirt, no marks there. Um, there is a couple of little marks here on the mirror scalp for this vehicle. Does look like someone did misjudge parking on this side as well. A little bit of a mark there. We might have to have a look at that one. Coming down to the front on the front wheel as well. Some minor marking there as well. Yet again, a bridge stand tie. Just a little bit of a mark just in there. Has indented the wheel. Just a little bit of paint come off it. Overall though, paint condition on this vehicle, really, really good. All right, around to the front now of the Territory. One thing to note, the reason as we hinted at the back, the reason we like this car is part of when Ford used to own Land Rover, they stole something. And they stole the Ford, they stole a diesel motor here, the 2.7 litre out of the Discovery actually. 140 kilowatts of power, 440 newton meters of torque. Combine that up to a six speed automatic transmission with sports mode. It's gonna give you on average 8.2 litres to the 100, 75 litre tank. It's gonna give you on average 915 kilometres of driving range. So great economy, great fuel savings there. Right, due to the magic of video editing, we're at the back of the territory now. A lot to talk about here. We've got a little stubby aerial there. We've got a high mount LED stoplight there as well. Rear wiper as well. Makes drive, I love these with rear wiper on the back. Makes the morning drive very easy. Wipe it, you can see clearly. Now, a couple of little features with the territory. One I loved because my driveway was like a mountain. If I had groceries in the back and I opened the full tailgate, they went down there somewhere. Open that lid up. Great if you don't have much space, drop your groceries in, have the dog poke its head out, everyone's happy. Pop that back down again, and a little button over here, lift up the rear as well. Gas struts, taking it clearly out of our way. Very, quite a tall, actually, set up here on the uh, territory, so easy to stand underneath. But for the height challenged among us, there is a little grab handle there as well. Now you'll notice there is a little extra thing that some people are going to ask about, I'm sure. What that is, is a boot release. Because we've got the canopy, the uh, cargo thing there, if you, uh, the thing is actually called a barrier, <laughs> um, you've got a little release there, so you can't actually trap people. But if you cut the release off, you probably could trap people. Now, anyway, moving into the back here, you'll notice, obviously this one is a five chair. So instead of the third row seating, which is really only useful for people without legs, you've got extra cargo space. You do have a, quite a lot of space here, most of umbrellas and things in my one. They do have space under here, but currently inaccessible because we've got the cargo barrier there. 
couple of little thumb screws and you can pull it out if you want to allow your victims to escape forward. In the back here as well, we do have lots of cargo tie downs everywhere on the territory, as well as a wee little 12 volt socket there if you feel like putting a fridge in the back. All right, now we're inside the uh, territory diesel now. One thing to note on the details of the video, you will see a couple of things, carpet and seats, aren't perfectly clean we are taking it from this video to our detailer we're just getting the videos done really quick because this car isn't even in stock when we're doing this video right now that's how ahead of the game we are now we'll start over the right hand side here we've got our power window switches here for all four windows because we live in the future as well as a little button here to lock the windows so i can't let my uh, cameraman escape i've been talking about escaping people a lot during this video actually um, moving up here, we've got a um, little thing there for our power mirrors. Good size mirrors in the Territory as well, nice and easy to see out of. Moving across a little bit, nice steering wheel in the Territory. It has the little adjuster there, can adjust it by reach and height as well. So set yourself up where you want to be. I probably want to see the speedo and set up like that, nice and easy. Cruise control on your right thumb. Obviously behind that we've got a headlight, set them to auto, forget about them. Unless it's raining then you might want to turn them on because the auto doesn't always turn them on in the rain. It does turn them on in the dark though. Indicators because it's a normal car, they're on the right. And a feature I love, tap to get three clicks. Really nice and easy to use. Moving across the steering wheel here, one thing we will talk about while we're here, airbags. We do have five airbags in this car. We have one here, one there, two in the seat and we've got the one in the driver's knee as well. Moving across, we've got our Bluetooth phone button. Now, this car is set up with Bluetooth phones coming out everywhere. This one here, compatible with most phones. We've got here as well volume controls for our audio setup. Behind there, wiper controls as well. Up from there, you'll see we've got our nice and easy to read speedo. Being an Australian car, nice, easy to read increments, 100 and 110 at the top. Then it goes sort of silly from there. Um, across from there, a taco there, not really needed with an automatic, but it is nice to know where it is. Little buttons here to control the trip computer as well. Moving across a little bit more, you see we've got a nice black and white screen, really easy to use at night. Currently listening to Fox, Melbourne's hit music. Like that, currently 20 degrees outside and we have the cooling off because it's nice and warm in here. Coming down, two nice cooling vents here, all the setup to control the cooling vents as well as our little CD slot there. If you still have CDs, most people just use them as coasters these days. And our controls for all our audio here as well. We've got a button here that unlocks the doors and one that locks the doors. And we've got a little button there that looks like a car doing a burnout. So I suppose if you hit that button, maybe that's what the car does. We've got a little button there to turn the interior light on. And there they go, and off again. And they, they don't go straight on, it's a nice little dimming, I like that. Down a little bit further, we've got a big nook here for all of your many things. I think Ford even sell a little tissue box that goes in there, but you can't get the tissues out, that's the trick. You've got a little power outlet, there you go. Power outlet, 12 volt socket in there as well to charge your phone. Little Burry System 9 there, there is a base plate in the uh, glove box as, as well there. Sometimes some Android users do use this because iPhones do connect to these cars quite easily though. Um, down from here we've got our six speed automatic transmission, we've got P for park, R for race, N for night mode, D for drive, and across there we've got our little sports mode as well. And I was joking about the night and race modes, don't, don't ask me about that one, I had a customer actually ask me about that one. Bit of funny. Two big cup holders there. In, in here we've got our big cavernous glove box, I mean you can fit your whole arm in there. Carpeted at the bottom so anything you put in there lives a life of luxury. Got a USB socket here as well as a little phone holder there which the cord can go through the bottom of. And a little spot here for your car wash change as well, I do like how they've kept that. Now, panning around the interior, as I said, the car is going straight from here to detail, but you'll see really good condition interior. Things I always note, and the cameraman hopefully will look at it. We've got 12 volt socket back here, as well as the rear air conditioning, a big tub for all of the kids things here. In the center here, we've got the cup holders in the armrest. And one thing to note, we'll get the camera to zoom around. There's no scratching, a couple of little minor marks on the roof, but no scratchings or really lines or anything from fingernails or anything like that in the roof. Overall, really, really good condition car inside. Now, while you're just panning back to me, I'll have a look at the service history here. Now, it's had its 3,000 kilometer service, then obviously 15,000 kilometer servicing from there. We've got one here at Ford, next one Ford again. Next one is, we did have a little skip but then done at Ford again. Then we've had Ford, 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 Ford. And then there is a tiny skip of two services there. Now they might have been done, they just haven't been stamped in the book. We can check that for you. But here's the good one at the end here, done by us again when we've brought it into stock. Good thing is you're not due to service the car for another 10,000 kilometers on this vehicle, but 
Obviously at this service they do an oil and filter change and they also do a full 125 point safety check on the vehicle. So they're really happy to, obviously we can offer a warranty on the vehicle as well. So nice and ready to go. Good books, a little skip in there, but overall drives brilliantly and we've done our safety checks past flying colors. Thank you for watching this video walk around tour of our 2011 Turbo Diesel Territory. As you've seen, really good condition on the outside, great condition inside good service history, ready to go. Do give us a call 9709-2999. Don't forget to ask your salesperson about a five year mechanical protection plan. This car does qualify for, which we're now including five years of roadside assist as well. Thank you for watching.